Alright guys, welcome back to news. I've called it El Sacchio because I was one game away from getting a sack. I'm going to tell you what's happened and uh, we've also got some other news. Lots of new signings. It's a new season, new hope for Newells. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to Newells. We're in a new season. I did survive. However, I was one game from the sack. Sorry, it's been a long time. Um, I got a nasty sickness bug last weekend. And then this weekend, Mrs. passed the driving test on the Thursday. We went out and got absolutely blottered on the Thursday night. Literal, literally two-day hangover. And just the longer you leave it, the less you get kind of the urge to record. So I've had to wait till Monday to get some records in. As you can see, we were in here, right in here. And then at the last point, I think it was, you know what it was? It was here. Talarez game was El Sacchio. That's what they called it between us and Talarez. I won 3-0. So I survived. We then lost, by the way, I changed my tactic here. We were trying to go with three at the back with wide centre-backs, it just didn't work. And I tried to give it, because I thought my job was safe, I tried to give it as long as possible. As you could see, I gave it some time. And a lot of these games, to be fair, we were playing quite well. We were playing quite well. It just, we just didn't win games. We were obviously getting picked off a little bit. So, I had to go back to basics. We've gone back, to, well, we're not gone back. I've done a new version of the Bielsa ball, which we'll talk about. There's a lot of new signings in there as well. No spoilers. River Plate, we lost at home 1 0. They scored. Nadlane got sent off for a foul and they scored in the 88th minute with a penalty. So we were unlucky. And then from that, board called us in. Results had to improve over the month. I then looked at the fit. Well, that's why I agree with them because of the first time of asking, it was the second meeting that I'd had with them. Um, and I kind of, first time I said, we'll be fine. We've got better games, we'll be fine. And then we weren't fine because we won like one in four or something or something like that. Yeah. I think it was after the Arsenal de Sarandi game. They called us in, they wanted better results for the end of the month, and then we racked up some good wins, 2-1, two, two draws as well, and then we've been on a really good road to finish the season. So the season finished with us in 13th, bang where I think we were predicted to finish. As you could see, look, that was the opening stage, closing stage, we were 16th, and then overall 15th, so a little bit lower than what we should have done. However... I'm really confident. I think I have built a team, a squad, that can get us into the Copa Libertadores again. We've made some fantastic transfers. Let's go and see. We've also got a game against River Plate, you know, today. The opening game of the season, which is pretty cool. League changes again. There's now only 22 in the league. There is an opening and closing stage. And the bottom four get relegated. Next season, it goes to the boring old. I'm going to miss it. It goes down to the boring old Premier League 38 game season. But it's been fun. I so recommend you jumping into the Argentinian leagues because we're in 2025 and we've got different, we've got once again different structures every single season for the league format. Right, you want to see just a transfer story. Let's talk about who's left. Okay, so at the end of the season on sort of like New Year's Eve, we let Aselmo go because he was one in, you know, he was already on sixth grand a week. Barrios. Wanted to go. He didn't have a great spells with us. He had he scored some fantastic goals, but we've strengthened in there. He was on four four thousand three hundred. He wanted double. I said no. So our fee went, and then a couple of backups as well. Uh, Aguirre was one who's played a little bit for us. He's managed to get a club, so I'll keep my eye on him. He scored a really good goal, but wanted too much money. He was on two hundred fifty quid a week and wanted over like three grand a week. So I said no to that. And are generally not good enough. And then Messi, 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 Messi has gone. Uh, no relation to the real Messi, but wacky Messi has left. Um, Thomas Jacobs, the most disappointing one. He actually did all right for us in some of the games. But, you know, 11 games, 6.99 average rating. Back up, right back. Um, but was wanting to go on a free transfer, mainly because I kept him in the reserves a little bit too long. And the rest are just backups that really, never really got their go. And then the noticeable outs... We've managed to get rid of Insua. He was on sort of like six grand a week, I think. So we've got him. He's gone 240 grand as well to uh, LAFC, which is a nice bit of business. We've, we've really strengthened this season. So as you can see, there's a few in here. So there's three there. And there's another one there. Other players to leave, though, just to give us a little bit of... Couple have gone on loan. So Thomas Julian Fernandez is a really nice attacking midfielder. Engaunch doesn't bode well for us, but... 
he's gone out on loan. As has Thomas Greco. Really exciting winger look. Only 17 years old. But I've given him. He wanted to go out on loan. I've signed him to a new deal. And he wanted to go out on loan. I haven't signed him to a new deal. Shit. I'm going to be over our wage budget again. Okay. We'll take that. Because he looks really exciting. And could be really good for us. Next season, I think we'll call him up. And then Campagnaro, we've strengthened in there. He was our star player, our wonder kid for the future, and hasn't kicked on at all. Still rated four and a half star potential, but he's 21 now. We got 800 grand for him, so I thought that was really good business. And then on the end, some really exciting players. We brought some players up from the youth team as well. First one in is Damian Fernandez, centre half. Probably going to be a little bit of a backup, but can play a little bit. He's got decent physicals, a bit average across the board, but we needed a little bit of strength in depth. We've tried to move a couple on, in particular there as well. Sorry, I've just forgot. There's a couple that we've moved on. Munoz, centre-half, 30-odd years old. We've got him 64 grand for him. So that really meant we just need an extra body in there. So that's why we've gone for Fernandez. Next one is Jonathan Sakira, And look at him. 19 years old. He didn't agree a contract with... River and all the top clubs, literally the big boys in Spain, uh, Chelsea, Manchester United. And I went in, he wanted two grand. I gave him 5,750. The only issue is he's got a minimum of release clause of five mil. I couldn't change it. We will try. I think halfway through the season, we'll try and tie into a new deal and see if we can get that up uploaded. Uh, try and get that up a little bit, should I say. But... Look at him, 19 years old, youth, youth international potentially. Mazala can do the attacking roles, can do the centre forward roles, can rotate with the two star boys in Castro and Sforza. So really delighted to have him in. And if we end up having to sell him and lose him, we get 5 million in and then that works well for us. As you can see as well, I've updated faces. So all the new faces that are in the squads, all those sort of like the regens have better faces with the chilled moose face pack. Right, so there is that. Jonathan Sakira secured. And then the fourth, third one is Lionel Romney. Left back. Did we pay for him in the end? No, we got him on a free. He's Argentinian, but he ended up getting released by Lanos. Went to Deportivo Cali, and then we've offered him a deal. I had to pay a lot for him in terms of wages. Eight and a half thousand, but 19 years old. Capped at the under 20s. Really good physically. Technically, he's okay. Passing 13, crossing 10, he's only 19, going to be a superb left back for us. And then we've just brought in, probably going to be potentially a starting right back, it's coming quite late actually, Leilando Flores. We tried to find someone in the right back area just to cover because obviously we lost the, the Thomas, the guy who was playing right back. Nandolin's okay, he's come in, Leandro Flores from Banfield on a free transfer. So those are the sign-ins. Money-wise, we made £2 million last year, so we're, we're in it, we're doing well. Obviously, there's no Copa Libertadores and stuff like that this season. means we can really focus on this league and try and get back up. We've been a bit up, down, up, down in terms of how we've qualified for leagues and the season after, fall and after. So this is the season that we go again. We've just got to be careful, though, because of how the league is formatted. Opening stage and closing stage means that <clears throat> places, the Copa Libertadores, two places are given out to two teams that win the opening and closing stage. So just say Boca win it overall. Over the 38 games, or whatever it is, 42 games, Boca win the league. However, if I win the opening stage and Belgrano win the opening stage, there's already three places, Boca, us and Belgrano, given places. So then potentially the other places will fall to the best teams in the overall league table, if that makes sense. So we've just got to be careful. Like, we could finish fifth here... And then lose out to someone who finishes lower down than us. But because they've maybe finished and won the opening stage or the closing stage, that then helps them. Rosario, by the way, our biggest rivals, were very close to doing that last season. League table. They got over three teams over 100 points. Rosario scored 109 goals. They'll be gutted. But we're going to do better than them this season. Right. And then looking into the squad, it looks full, by the way. We've finally done it. We got him in. Nicolas Castro, with a couple of months to spare, I think. I don't think he went right to the way. He just said he was happy again. And I think it was obviously down to the form that we were in at the end of the season. When did he sign it? 
does it say? So yeah, 30 for 10, so a couple of months before it expired. He has got a relegation release clause. He's got a minimum free release clause as well for any team sort of like in competential con competition. £10 million, though. I don't think they're going to spend that on him, especially in South America. I don't think that many teams are going to have that kind of money. So there you go. He's not even rated the best cent attacking midfielder. Look, Jonathan Sakura, Sakura is... And then we have strengthened in other areas. Obviously, we've st we're still trying to get a couple out the door. For Kundo Cardoza, he's no longer needed. Trying to get him out the door because he's on five and a half grand a, month, a week. Um, we've brought through some youngsters. Lucas Vincentin is a sort of like backup centre half. He's also doing a job for me in centre midfield as well. Six foot four, really good physicals for his age. Only 19 years old. Paolo Patricio, one of my patrons on the channel, so you can get yourself in the game. By becoming a patron, only £3 a month, I'd really appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting the channel, go check it out. Because you get yourself in the game. There you are, Paolo, Paul Patrick, but we've called him Paolo Patricio. I think he came on a couple of games last season, but it's his time now. 18 years old. He's going to be a backup fullback to Romney, but at the same time, he's going to get plenty of games. And yeah, the time is, the time is now. He's also getting chased by Inter Milan. Shit. Right, we might need to, we might need to fix that. When's his contract out? 2027. I don't think European clubs can sign players, you know, like approach to sign because he's on a youth contract, but something we might need to be aware of. I'll think about that. We may need to offer him a new deal. What does he want? He's not going out on loan. It's like five and a half mil. Ah! What do I do? What do I do? Let me know down. Look, oh, I can't even walk away from it now. Make one happy. Let's time to a five. Lock in a five. Yeah. Okay. It's part of the thing, isn't it? We're going to lose players of certain qualities. If Inter want to pay five and a half million, so be it. But there he is, Paul Patricio. We managed to organ We also managed to give a new deal to Julian Fernandez. We didn't lose any of our big players, which was really good. Um, Ramelios Glenn is another patron on the channel. He's got Ramelios once again. A winger slash. Wing back is going to be a backup in the left hand side of midfield. Facundo Perez is still there. Castro, the main man, there he is. Juan Sforza is still here, and obviously, there's no bids for him. 14 goals as well last season, not as good as the season before, but a superb player for us. I want to give a little mention as well to Perez, the guy that looks like Tuco from uh, Breaking Bad. He is a threat, he's a real threat. Eight goals in all comps last year can play on the right side of midfield, can do a job in the middle midfield, really happy with him. We've also brought through a youth team player, Juan Bedogoni, who is only 16, but I like him. Stamina of 13, strength of 7. We were a little bit short in midfield. I want him to play as many sub-appearances. I want him training with us. I don't want him going out and loan to like the third or fourth tier. As you can see, he's got a lot of work to do, but at the same time, I really want him just to give us a little bit of a little bit of backup in the squads. He can play some games. 20 minutes to go for winning or losing. I like to make as many changes as possible. Only three changes now, though, in the league, though, which is a bit disappointing. So I'm trying to give him as much game time as possible. Sordo stayed. Gonzalez stayed. Singioni is another one we gave a new deal to. Saliz. Saliz has stayed. The youngster probably will get a little bit more game time as well this season. Alvaro Marin is going to be our main man, the main striker this year. 15 league goals last season. I want him to see a little few more than we won in the 20s from him. And then Tika is going to be a little bit of a backup. We've got Sforza, we've got Castro. That Sakira can play there as well, but I'm looking at playing Tika off the bench a little bit. Dribbling 14, finishing 14. Technique, work rate's okay. Strength of four, not great, but has scored an absolute shit ton in pre-season. And in the reserves, got a crazy amount of goals as well. Does it tell you how many goals? Yeah, Last season, 18 goals in 19 starts. And he's done that regularly over the last couple of seasons. Okay, that is that. Tactically, we're just going with Bielsa Ball with a winger on one side, an inverted winger, two wing backs on support, ball playing defenders. Um, it's the Bielsa Ball tactic I've had for a while, but I've tweaked it a little bit. Double central midfield on attack, Marin leading the line, and that's what saved my job last season. All right, we've got River Plate. Let's get into it. Also, before we get into it as well, I have announced the competition winner, Paulinho, who commented in the first video when I did a competition for a new old shirt. You need to get in touch, buddy, ASAP. 
Um, for your newer shirt, you need to let me know your size. I did do that on the competition. Someone reminded me about it, completely forgot about it. I have put it in the comments of the first video. I asked everyone for an Argentinian, their favourite Argentinian player. I, everyone who commented, I just put them into a, a wheel, a randomizer, and Paulinho, you came out. So let me know, buddy, where you are in the world, what size you want, if you're still watching this series, and you get yourself a shirt. Right, it doesn't get as tough as today. It probably does. Boca are the champion, so I just imagine Boca are going to be strong. However, River Plate are absolutely tremendous. We have got their hot prospect. Galado's still in charge. We have still got their, we have got their hot prospect, though, that we snapped from them, perched from them, which I'm absolutely buzzing about when that became a, a possibility. And we're going to play him today. We've had a really good preseason, by the way. We haven't played much. Couple of teams in and around us. So like, well, to be fair, we smashed Fenerbahce 6 0, which was always good. Right. Couple of players are missing. Mancilla's disappointing. He signed a new deal as well because he was another one that may have left in the summer. Mancano has been with us all throughout. We're just going to go Nadalin to start with. Tried and tested. We're going to go, we're go with Mamana at right back. And Fernandez as the other centre half. The new signing, Romney at left back, even though he's probably our best centre half. I want him just to get at left back because we're kind of covered in the centre back areas. Half back, Fernandez is suspended, so we're going to go young today, boys. We're going to go with Vincentin playing as the half back. Right side of midfield, this is what I like. It was another youngster, by the way, forgot to show you. Ramirez, Frederico Ramirez. He is 18 years old, already capped under 20s level, is wanted only loans. That's okay. We'll let that go. He looks really, really good, doesn't he, for an 18-year-old. Dribbling good, pace good, passing technique, determination, really good outlet. So this is why we've kind of changed it on this right-hand side. But we are going to go with Perez, my Tuco man, on that right-hand side. In the midfield, Sforza is injured, so we are going to go with Castro and... Sakira, how long is Forza out for? A couple of weeks. Mansilla's out, I think, for a couple of weeks as well. Yeah, inverted winger on this left hand side. Now this is the e this is the key, where we've not. If anything, we're at our weakest. It's on this left hand side. Sakira can't play there. Castro and that, so we're always going to have to rock, rotate Sakira, Castro, and uh, Sforza. Um, we have got Christian Salis, who's a youngster, but I'm just going to go with Gonzalez. He was a little bit more tried and tested, a bit more of a, a regular for us over the last few years. Got a very, he's not very good on his right foot, but he's really strong on his left. And then Marin is going to lead the line. There is an option to play Sordo, Sordo as well on that left-hand side. We've got plenty of options, which is really good. But what I am trying to do is, Bagoni in centre midfield, I am trying to get as many youngsters on the bench as possible, just to give us a couple of players in there that are going to be really key for us. Maybe in terms of coming off the bench, changing the course of a game, and then the rest need to be made up of youngsters and giving them as much time as we can. And if we can maximise their playing time, they'll then get sucked in. You know, if teams like Inter Milan are coming in for certain plays, Sakira is going to go at some point as well. There's no doubt about that. Right, here we go. I've bigged it up, boys. But let me know what you think to the transfers down in the description. Description down in the comments, should I say. We all River played from last time. We got done. Remember that one that nearly cost my job. 1-0 defeat. Nadalin gave away that penalty. They scored an 88th minute winner. Right, here we go. Nadalin. Perez. Nadalin. Cross. Sakira was there. <laughs> Vincenten. The youngster. Sakira. Just over. It's a good start. Two youngsters combining. Okay. Rome. Fernandez. Rome. Clips one down the line for Marin to chase. He's locked. Got there. We're going to get that back though. We do. Fernandez. Romeo will have another go. We're both wing-backs are on support, so I am asking him to get forward. We've got the defensive midfielder now as a half-back to kind of act as a back three a little bit, give us a little bit of protection, but we are going to win games today, this season. Dominate possession, aggressive, Bielsa ball, and we're going to have some fun with it. Right, Mamana, Nadalin, Perez, Castro. Perez. That's a long ball. Gonzalez, Sakira, Marin. This will be a wonderful goal. It is a wonderful goal. Editor Matt is now going to put up the number of passes we had in that move. <laughs> what a goal. This was a dodgy switch, by the way, but we got there. Gonzalez with a little layoff. Sakira layoff. One touch. Beautiful football. We are 1-0 up against River, and it is deserved. Perez with it. 
headed clear by Paredes. Perez, Fernandez, Fernandez been sent in. Perez, Marin is in again. It may be offside. It is offside. There's no VAR. Marin was just off. 56% of the ball against Rivers. Not bad, is it? Right, Nadalin, Fernandez, Rome. Just keep moving the ball. Keep moving the ball. Mamana, Castro, been sent in. We've got plenty of games this season as well to give, you know, players like Ramirez, uh, other players that are youngsters that are just a little bit short. They'll get their turn. Marin, Perez, Nadalin. Sakira's in. Oh, big chance. Big chance against the team that he's just left. Oh, dear. What a debut that would have been. He's already got it himself an assist. We could deal with a goal from him, couldn't we? Oh, the goal stood. I'm losing my mind here. Am I losing my mind? I thought that was offside. He had his hand in the air. He had his hand in the air, did the lines, but when the, when the ball goes in, I'm pretty sure there's no VAR, you know. He put, I don't know what's happened there. Linesman's kept his flag down. The ref had his hand in the air. It's 2-0, boys. It's 2-0. <laughs> oh, dear. That was weird. I just presume because there's no VAR. Is there VAR? I'm losing my head. No, I don't think there is VAR. No, because no VAR came up on the screen, did it? Okay. Right, well, we are tuning up, and I'm absolutely buzzing. And then, do we look at... I can always go attacking as well if we need to. Um, I don't find it's necessary. I'd rather us have a little bit more percentage on the ball and not be as gung-ho. That looked offside. That looked offside, linesman. So he's got his flag in there. What's going on here now? Defence are appealing for offside. Oh, there is VAR. Okay. I'm fucking losing my mind. Disallowed. We must have got... We, obviously, that was just a dodgy highlight from us. From that Marin second goal. Oh, carnage on the opening game of the season, boys. Right, we'll do some changes. Um, Castro struggled. So we are going to bring on... Ooh, tell you what, let's bring Ramirez on the right-hand side. Let's move Perez into the middle. And he can be a box-to-box -box for us. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then Gonzalez, Ramelios. Ramelios. And then Ramelios on that left-hand side. Ramelios did get sent off last season. The fiery youngster. Don't let me down, Glenn. Right, seeing this out, boys, I'm just going to drop it on the defensive as well, take less risks. I haven't changed the tempo, but it might just help us see the game out. It is going to see the game out. There we go, boys. We have absolutely bossed that. They have had that one highlight from the goal. Sorry, postman. They've had that one highlight from the goal. We started the season incredibly well. All right, guys, um, this video is going out. Tuesday, there's a chance there could be live stream of this on Saturday night. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will let people know on my community's page and in the Discord as well. Um, if not, there'll be a video uploaded on Sunday morning. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you later.